Hello, 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 and a very warm welcome to my live. And a very warm welcome to Tarot Thursday. How are you all doing? How is the week going along with you to this week? We're on Thursday, the 16th of November, 2023. It's just after six o'clock here in the UK. Um, and Thursdays is Tarot Thursday. Now, if you've been following me for the last four or five weeks, every Thursday we've been looking at an aspect of the tarot to try and make it a little bit easier for everyone to read. You do not have to be the seventh daughter of a seventh daughter to be able to read the tarot you do not need to be a psychic medium or anything like that the tarot is just a type of an oracle card now i've spoken about this before with oracle cards um are just an oracle is where you go for guidance it's a type of tool where you go for guidance with the oracle cards they can be 44 cards or 40 cards or 58 cards etc like that and the theme is what's on the title of the book um for example we've got an oracle card here keepers of the light oracle card by kyle gray and his theme is keepers of the light it's all about um ascended masters who can help us to step into the light um, there isn't a set theme here. This one actually, what's it? I don't know. What's it got? Forty-four cards or something in it. I don't know. Um, but there's a set. All it is is each theme with the card is to do with the keepers of the light. You may have an oracle card set that's all to do with angels. So all the cards have got a theme on angels, and it may have a one-word theme, or you may have a deck of cards that's to do with fairies or dragons etc like that there is no set rule how many cards may go in an oracle card set basically the rule is whatever the title is so if it says fairies on the front you will be expecting all the images and refer referencing to the fairy world and so on and so forth now with the tarot it again is an oracle card you go to the oracle card to the tarot for advice for guidance however with the tarot there is a set form to it the set form is 78 cards so all tarot cards if it's the ordinary uh, tarot deck that's based upon the rider weight deck you will have 78 cards those 78 cards are split into two what we call the major archaea and then the other half which is the minor archaea now the major icon, which is what we've been studying for the last two weeks, is the fool's journey through life's major upsets, you know, going through um, being born, going to school, falling in love, moving forward into life and becoming an adult. The minor archaea is split into four, is set into suits and it's set into your material needs, your emotional needs, um, your passion, uh, etc like that and then it's split into naught to uh, one to ten and then you've got the characteristics so we've studied the last few weeks we looked at the numbers one to ten so that breaking it down we looked at what a page a knight a king and queen is we've looked at the different suits the pentacles uh pentacles coins the 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 cups uh the staves the wands we've looked at those and now we've been looking and those are like the day-to-day -day life so when i try and explain the tarot in an easy form for people to understand it's like oh the major car is a wedding the minor car is the day-to-day -day things how stressed you can get when you're organizing the flowers booking the venue getting your dress getting the flowers organized so it's the day-to-day -day things and that's how you can look at it the major car is the major things that happen in your life when life comes crashing down when you get a marriage birth death divorce whatever it is when you're leaving something leaving school and going into university it's a major effects that's why it's called the major car the minor is the minor little things, the minor day-to-day -day things that go on in your life. And as I said, the last two weeks, we've been looking at the fool's journey through the major archaea. Now, the fool's journey, sorry, I've got some notes here, so I don't, so I keep on track, so I can keep focus. So the fool's journey is on a, chronic, is a chronological structure that's woven through 22 major archaea cards. So there's 22 cards in the major archaea card. And these major archaea cards are representing important stages in our lives, lessons that you need to go through as you go through life. I'm just making sure that I am on the right place. And never mind, if someone finds me, they find me not. Never mind. Uh, 
panic then whether I'm on my own page or whether I'm on my business on my on my business page but hey ho we'll just keep going um, and it perhaps the events that have the potential to completely change our lives etc so the journey itself in the major car is split into three parts there's your personal journey which is card naught to card number seven called card naught is the fool is the fool and then the rest of numbers one to seven is your personal journey where you get bored you get meet your mum your dad your school teachers the part second part is the world which is what we looked at last week um cards number eight to fourteen and we were looking at those and they're part of the world when you get step out into the life you meet things and so on and so forth and now the last lot of cards which we're going to look in a little bit more detail is the universe how the fool or you or whoever the dreamer is uh, being associated and how they cope with the universe and what the universe throws in and those are the cards 16 to 21 now remember i said there were 22 cards but we cover because the first card the card full is zero because when you're born you don't become one until you've done the first 12 months of the year it's the first 12 months on earth when you've done 12 months you then are one you do another two months 12 months you're two so this is why the full card is zero it represents your first growing up so i hope that makes sense and each stage that they, the fool goes through is has challenges and these challenges give you revelations the revelations are about yourself about the world around you and about the universe and how you can step in and how people are affecting you or how you can affect people so before i carry on i'm waiting for more people to join me in and find me um i may or may not be doing readings today if i do i will be using the angel tarot deck by radley valentine i'll be using angel tarot but i'll be talking and talking in a minute using his fairy deck you need to be over 18 to have a tarot reading um you are not allowed to give legal medical or financial advice or, or pregnancy advice it's classed as entertainment purposes only if you choose not to take its entertainment for other reasons then it's down to you not down to me it is a legal obligation i have to state it is a law in the uk i have to state it is for entertainment purposes this is not a cop-out if some people have said to me oh it's a cop-out you said it's i have to legally say it if i don't i'm breaking a law in the uk and i don't want to do that so let's get started now i have made some notes so again the notes are here purely so i stay on track i do know what i'm talking about so if i'm talking about anything and you want to ask me any more questions i will be able to answer this but i've got these notes just so i keep on track so i know where i'm going and i'm not here for three hours talking i'm only going to try and do it in an hour let's see so let's look at card number 15 now as i said i am actually going to be talking with the fairy tarot deck by radley valentine the fairy tarot deck now you will note that the fair um, radley valentine has renamed some of his cards this is to take away the scared bit the taking away the oh my god the panic oh this is the devil talking etc um he's done that so he's renamed it and it also gives you the reason actually a better name to give you a better understanding on what the card is all about so let's look at card number 15 and the first card number 15 is the devil now radley valentine calls it the ego because the devil is not evil or sinister he is that knot of ignorance or um, hopelessness within each of us the attract he likes to attract material needs and this is the ego and the attraction of material needs is compelling you're even a slave to it you know you see these adverts i've got to have this phone i've got to have this car i've got to live like this i've got to have this handbag i've got to have you know i've got to save all my money up for the latest prada handbag material needs this is the ego oh if i've got this prada bag i can boast and show look how brilliant i am look i've got this prada bag you haven't got the prada bag look at me da, da, da. that's the material need of the devil he's telling us that you are living in a limited life not realizing how rich the universe really is you're so sucked into the prada the porsche shopping at john lewis you know and all these places like that the material needs and we are tempted 
And this is the ego, the ego going, I'm better than you because I've got this 10 bedroom mansion. I've got three cars. I've got this. I've got the Prada bags. I've got the, you know, whatever it is you've got. That is the devil. That is the evil tempting you with that, tempting you away from your truth, which is joy, peace and happiness. Because when you're boasting to someone, you think that's making you feel good. But actually, no, you're trying to build yourself up. It's false. It's the devil. And the words behind the devil card is temptation, material world pleasure and entrapment. You believe you have to stick to this job to earn this money, to have this massive big house, to have to be happy. That's not true. You don't need all these material needs to be truly happy. What makes you happy? Well, I don't know, singing a song, dancing, going for a walk and tree hugging. That doesn't cost you anything, but that's where you've led to believe. That is the card, devil number 15. Yes, Radley Valentine calls it the ego because it's your ego, you're being egotistic. We then move on to the tower. And what happens with the tower? The tower is the home that you've built around. The tower represents your life. The tower represents all these self-limiting beliefs that you've got around you. And we need to free ourselves from this materialistic needs. This We have to free ourselves from the devil. We have to free ourselves from the ego. But in order to that happens, we have to break down the old to be able to build up the new. And this is the only way we can do is by having a sudden uh -huh, an aha moment, a sudden like, ooh, awakening, a sudden, ah, oh, is that really, etc, etc. And it's like a sudden change, you know, a sudden light bulb moment. This is the tower. And the tower is our ego fortress. That's the fortress, the ego. And sometimes we have to go through a monumental crisis to create a breakthrough. This is when you suddenly realize that you've got this limited lifestyle, this limited belief system that you've been sucked into, these people that have been controlling you and telling you all these things. And suddenly, ooh, you know? So the say, so we have to have a shake up. We have to move from our old belief system to a new, bro, new one. And we need to remove ourselves from it. So that is what the tower is. It's breaking down all the old beliefs because it's suddenly realization that we're living a life of lies. We're living a life of illusion. We've been fed this, that you've got to have this big house. You've got to have all this, that and the other to be able to be joyful and happiness. But it's bullshit. You're seeing all the adverts at the moment on Christmas. Oh, you have this big turkey. You have all this and all these people around you and life is going to be fantastic. Rubbish. It's just an illusion these advertisers are giving you. And this is what it is when you realize that it's just a fake illusion and the world crumbles around you, but then you come for an awakening, which brings us to the star, card number seven. The fool has discovered his true joy, his true self, that his true self, love and peace, doesn't come in all the material needs of what he's been told all about. Um, the star is all about your hope, your purpose and being inspired. And now the fool has discovered his true joy, joy and peace. He's having a broken away from his past limiting beliefs and his past life. And he's starting anew. He has now new faith in himself, filled with joy and tranquility. And he's now showing generously his newfound light with the world around him. He's suddenly saying, hey, believe, realise that this is, in fact, the truth. The joy and peace and happiness isn't actually found in materialistic life. It's not in constantly trying to put ourselves to pain to, to, our, to the detriment of ourselves, trying to please other people. Because no matter what you do, you will never please everyone. You will never live up to their expectations or what you believe is their expectations. And so what? It's time to realise that you've got your own light and it's time to live your own light. And this is giving you hope. Um, and it says, like, I've got found now that the tower is crushed down, I can see the light and you've now got peace because you're now stepping into your truth. We then move into number 18, which is the moon, the moon, the moon. Um, the moon is, hey, we've seen this light, but now we're going to receive some challenges. Your new bliss is now making you vulnerable to the illusion of this moon. The moon gives you time to go into your shadow work. Your feelings of joy is not yet subject 
to your mental clarity. You're feeling joyful, but you need mental clarity. And this is what the moon is doing. It's got to go into your shadow work, release that past. And to be, you are susceptible to the fantasy of, hey, you've got this, that. But for, to go deep into your subconscious mind and your shadow work, to release the deep-seated fears and anxiety, because you're thinking, hey, you know, I found this new joy with the star, but then you have these doubts. Can I do it? Can I not do it? Etc. Etc. And this is what the moon is all about. Going into your subconscious, releasing those fears and the anxiety that's holding you back and to step forward into your truth. But we sometimes have to do the shadow work to release. We have to release those toxic people. That's the shadow work. Release the toxic people. Release the toxic environment you're in. Release and go away. Get out of the darkness into the light of the moon. Then we've done that release and we come to the amazing sun card number 19, which is all about your revelation, your joy, your own true authenticity. When you are stepping into your own authentic self, and allowing yourself to shine. You're not allowing other people to control you, not allowing people to dictate to you or tell you what to do. You've now got your own power back. It's giving you your clarity of mind after your shadow work of the moon. You're feeling enlightened. You feel that you, you are feeling and you're understanding the world around you. You're enjoying life with vibrant energy and enthusiasm. And you can realize that you are great. You are worthy of everything. You can do this. This is amazing, the sun. And like I said, it's the revelation of joy. You're stepping into your authority. You've done all the release. You've let go of all those false illusions that people have been telling you and you've believed of your past. You've broken it down and you go, you know what? I don't need a five bedroom, seven bathroom, one acre house with three cars because that really is trying to fit in with everyone else. But I'm so different. What I really want is a beautiful little rose cottage in the country, growing my own veg and, you know, doing my own thing. And yeah, stepping away from the nine to five because the nine to five doesn't suit you. It's bringing you down. It's making you ill. My nine to five doesn't exist anymore. I just get up when I want to go to bed when I want to. I do my readings when I, and that brings me so much joy. Everything I do in life, I'm doing from place of joy. This is the place of the sun realizing my greatness and my greatness is my own truth my own full authentic self then we come to card 20 now hello i'm not sure whether i'm in the right place whether i'm on my um, own profile julie sean or whether on my business profile because i'm wondering where everyone is so i hopefully i'm on my own profile so now we look at card number 20 now the card number 20 is called judgment and it's the judgment card However, Radley Valentine calls it renewal. Renewal, because you're renewing yourself. The fool is reborn, because you're reborn yourself. Reborning, reborning, <laughs> wrong word, into yourself. Your ego has gone. You've discovered joy, not fear, is at your life's core. This is what you realise, that it's like, yeah, joy. And I'm going to step forward, because fear is fear, face everything and rise face everything and rise and it's realizing that life is joy and that is your center of your life hi can I have a go well you can do in a moment I'm just finishing off the teachings and once I've done the teachings then I will do the um, readings for you so the fool is reborn ego is gone you've discovered joy and not fear is at the center of your life you are absorbed, you are forgiven, and you are absorbed of everything that's gone through. You have forgiven yourself for allowing people to control you. You are forgiving people for controlling you. Um, time to take a big judgment of your own life. It's your day of reckoning. This is renewal. It's time to rise up and fulfill your own destiny. No more doubts. It's time to follow your dreams because you're renewing. You've realized that actually people have been holding me back. I'm stepping out. This is my true authentic self. The words are favourable ruling, awakening and resurrection. This is what the judgment. 
don't judge yourself harshly because you found yourself in situations that you know you didn't realize but now you're looking at it from a different angle you know got the hangman looking at things from a different viewpoint you're being the eagle looking at everything from the higher self from the instead of the low and this is the judgment it's like not judging yourself because you had to go through this journey to learn things and when you've got learned these things you can then judge it and go hey this has made me a better person it's made me a stronger person it's made me realize what the true meaning in life no longer the devil i.e materialistic needs the prada bag the diamonds the rubies the big mansion no it's the little things in life and being of service and being kind and sharing my knowledge and raising everybody else up sharing love sharing joy sharing peace and happiness and saying I am on a world peace walk not talking down about people I'm not judging people and if you stop judging people people start job stop judging you stop judging people for their lives let them get on with their own life and this is what the judgment is all about the renewal card you're renewing the way you're looking at life and you've gone through the journey of life all these phases and cycles and then you suddenly look back and move forward and then we come to the last card in the major archaea which is the world the world card number 21 card number 21 so this is the fool re-enters the new world again he's starting again but this time he's got a more complete understanding of how the world goes on you're at the end of the journey you've gone from naught to the fool and you've gone through all these experiences and you're out in the universe and you're realizing wow all this skill and knowledge I can now start my new journey from everything you've got realization you're realizing that you can integrate yourself into your wholeness allowing your true authentic self to come out he has a new level of happiness and fulfillment you experience life to its full you know your future is filled with infinite promise acting on inner certainty and your efforts have been rewarded your accomplishments will be many because of all the skills and knowledge you've learned any skills and knowledge that is bringing you down you let them go you're letting go of any limited belief systems that you've allowed people to put onto you and tell you you can't do this you can't do it you go no that's because they want to control you you stepped into your own light you're now in the universe realizing working with the law of attraction working that what gives out bring, I, what I give out I will attract even more and it's like wow thinking positive giving help to people raising them up rather than bringing them down and using my skills to take myself forward into next stop and the world means completion it's the end of a cycle ready to start new and your self-actualization realizing that you are this amazing wonderful person a fantastic person a brilliant person you've got your own power you don't have to do this that and the other to please people you don't need other people to say yes you know other people to go oh that's an amazing idea it doesn't matter if no one else supports you as long as you're doing it from a place of pure love joy peace and bliss then it doesn't matter if no one else supports you or wants to encourage you because the thing is they don't want you because they don't want you to rise up because when you rise up it's showing them that they are still in the elephant manure dog shit life and you go through the life journey so those are the last few cards of the major archaea now i'm not sure who's watching or who isn't watching are there any questions are there any questions about the major archaea hopefully i've explained it on a little bit more easier understanding breaking down the myths and the legends of the tarot making it not so mystic not so oh my god you've got to learn all this yes helena you can in a minute i've nearly finished what i'm doing i've nearly finished the teaching let me finish and then i'll do the cards in a minute because i need to do something first i have done my disclaimer at the beginning but i will do cards in a minute so are there any questions on the major archaea have you got any questions about the tarot all right what i'm going to do following on from this is from moving on from next week because we've done all the basics we're going to look at the cards individually like all the symbols all the symbolism how you can read a card if you don't know what the meaning is how you can do a reading from the images of the cards so we're going to take it a little bit deeper 
So if anyone's got any questions on the major archaea cards, let me know at the moment. Hopefully I've explained everything to you, if so, yeah. Now, in a minute, I'm going to start doing some cards, card readings. You do need to be over 18 for a tarot reading, though. I'm trusting that everyone is here. Please tag some people in. Please tag some people in if you think they would benefit from a tarot reading today. So I'll do a couple of sayings before I carry on and do my readings. Um, and then I will do a reading for anyone who wants it. First of all, um, these are just quick one card readings. They're not going to be full in-depth readings. They're just giving a little bit of guidance. But if you choose to listen, go thank you, and then just go away and go, that's it, and then not deal with it. What is the point of asking for a card? You're asking for a card because you're wanting some information. You're wanting guidance. We give you the guidance, the spirits, the guides, your angels, whoever you work with, are giving you the guidance. But if you're not going to do anything with it, ask yourself, why am I asking for a card? If you're not going to do anything with the information that I'm going to give you, don't ask for a card. Because what is the point? It's like, why? Why? Ask yourself, why do you want a card? What is the reason you want a card? Why? You want some guidance. You want some info. You want to know, oh, what shall I do about this? Are you going to act upon the guidance? This is the question. Now, the thing is, I have an oracle card journal and a tarot card journal. And often when you do your card readings, it's useful to make a note, write down the card you get, write down the information, because it may not make sense now, or you may not be ready, or you need some more information. But every day you have a card reading, it's imperative that you make a note. If you don't make a note of it, it's just going to disappear. It's just going to disappear like some thoughts you have in your mind. It's just going to disappear. And you think, oh, what was the point of that? But if you write it down, because they're giving you a message, they're giving you information, they're giving you knowledge. And as a thank you, you're acknowledging it by writing it down in your journal or writing it down on a piece of paper, because then you can think about it. And then you can go, right, I can now act upon it. Because if you don't take action on the information, what is the point of asking for a reading? You tell me. Tell me why you want a reading today. What is it? And what are you going to do? And tell me, what are you going to do with the information you receive? That's what I want to know. Tell me why you want a reading today and what information, what are you going to do with that information? I just want to know. Um, and how are you going to act out? Because a lot of people have a reading and you go and have a, a reading and we go, oh, I'm going to go and sit down with a tarot reader or a psychic medium and she's going to give me all this meeting and messaging. She gives you the reading and then you go, thank you very much. And you walk away. Three hours later, you've forgotten all about it and you won't know what to do. And you've got no idea because the tarot reader will not give you guidance. They will not give you a mentoring session. They will not give you a plan of action on what to do with the information they have given you in a reading and then it's like a waste of your time a waste of money however if you book one of my pathfinder readings that's not what gonna happen when you book my pathfinder readings you're gonna it's a recorded on zoom it's recorded because you can look back time and time and time again at it it's not just a face-to-face -face. here's a reading goodbye You've got a memory. That's why we do it on Zoom. It's very important I do my Pathfinder readings. and all my tarot readings are on Zoom. Number two, I always send you photographs of the cards. This is so you can look back at the images. And again, you can got the memory again and again and again. And you've got it there. So you can refer back to the knowledge and wisdom. But with the Pathfinder reading, it's just not a tarot where you do a reading. Okay, bye. What we do with a Pathfinder reading, we take your reading from here to here. We show you how you can take this information, this knowledge, this wisdom that we shared. We show you how you can, we do some mentoring and we can show you with an easy plan of action how you can implement that knowledge and wisdom that you've just received from the cards into, into your everyday life. You can start acting on it. So it's not a waste of a time. And this is why it's so important that when you have a reading, 
You book like a reading with someone who will record it for you, who will take photos for it, who will be able to, if you come back and you've got questions. But this Pathfinder reading will elevate it gives you mentoring, we give you guidance on what to do, we mentor you and also we have a small plan of action that you go away and you can actually implement that guidance there and then. That is what's so special about the Pathfinder reading. And anytime you have a reading, whether you've got a card deck at home, make sure you write it down in your journal. I've got this journal, Oracle Card Journal, Tarot Card Journal, where you actually write down the cards you get and then it becomes your own book with all your knowledge and wisdom. And again, write down all the cards that you take, all the knowledge and wisdom and the information in your journal book. And then it's there because you'll realize it's reading a story of your life and you can refer back to it again and again. And it's a reminder because if I do a card for you today, I bet you, if you don't make a note of it, in 20 minutes time, you will have forgotten what the card is. You will have forgotten because, oh, I've got to cook dinner. I've got to do this. I've got to do that and you will forget but writing it down means you can refer back to it so even if you do get distracted by having to cook dinner you've got to put the kids to bed and things like that then later when you've got a moment to yourself you can look back and go, oh yeah that was the card or oh, that's what was said so important to write it down and that is why it's so important to book a reading say with someone like me who books it on zoom so it's recorded and if you want an, a reading and you're really serious and why you want to read why do you want a reading i want a reading because you want some guidance well book your pathfinder reading that is what's so important about these car these readings is you're wanting guidance but if you don't make a note of it or write it down or have a record of it the guidance will be just go blink and it's gone. But having a Pathfinder reading means, whoa, it's recorded on Zoom, we've got the mentoring and we have an easy to follow plan of action. So you can start implementing that knowledge and wisdom that your spirit guides will have given you. Isn't that wonderful? If you want to book one, let me know. If you book it through me today, it's just £75. If you book it through the website, it's £77, 77p. So a Pathfinder, is for me 75 so or is 77 oops wrong price on website so if you want to save yourself some pennies book your pathfinder reading 75 pounds otherwise um if you go through the website it's 77 pounds 77p if you want any more information, or message me, you see who I am. Um, and let's get your reading booked in. So let's get going. So the card for the day and the full card reading for today is the Eight of Air. Air is all about our thoughts. It's Eight of Swords. And it says an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Yeah, we have this feeling that we are trapped in our life. Oh, you don't understand. I have to do this. You don't have to do that. You think this because you've got yourself stuck in a situation where you think you can't get out of. You need to pause and take a look at the bigger picture and realise these are false illusions that are holding you back. Your thoughts that are holding you back. Oh, I can't do this. I can't leave my job because I need to earn money. Well, go and find another job that you do enjoy that brings in more money. Oh, you know, I can't do this because... No, that's just a false reason. It's not. It's a story, an excuse to stay put in the elephant manure life that you've got around you. You've got to stop thinking being limited. I am limited to my circumstances because the universe is so vast. The world is vast. There's a world of opportunities around us. You just need to pause, step out of the box and start living your life how you want. Now, who is here? Who would like a card? I don't know who's watching, who is or isn't watching, because some of you have asked for a reading, but you probably disappeared because I made you wait. So who here would like a card? Let me know if you would like a card. Pop on and go, can I have a card, please? And I will do you a card. The full reading of today's card are full in depth. Yep, I'll do you two seconds, full in depth. Card reading is on.
YouTube. Right, I'll do Helena. Okay, so let's do Helena. Let's do Helena um, because she's popped on first. So we'll do Helena first as she's been here right from the beginning. Um, thank you. So let's do Helena. 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 Sorry. Helena. 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 Helena has the nine of air. Now, as I just said, air is all about our thoughts. This is the nine of swords. Nine. It means it says expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecy sleepless nights. We've just said about the eight of air where you're thinking it's like, oh, I'm stuck in this way. And you're lying in bed at night, allowing your thoughts and your thoughts are wandering and wondering, oh, if I do this, this may happen and they may do this. And, this. and your thought goes off. You're expecting the worst, the worst. And because you're thinking it, the law of attraction is hearing these negative thoughts. So it's going, hey, that's what you're thinking, the negative thoughts. I'm going to bring you the negativity and you wake up and you go, oh, I told you this bad thing is going to happen because I thought it and it's going to happen. And it's like the thoughts in my head is going off and I think about this. And if I don't do, and if I do this, grandma might be upset and the neighbours may be upset. Bullshit to that, Helena. If your mind starts wandering off at night and it's keeping you awake, what you need to do, this is a good trip, is to take a slow breath in, hold and release, and just go, what is my next thought? And then you pause, and suddenly, what is your next thought? So do it now, Helena, Helena. Just go for a moment, if you're able to, and just go, what is my next thought? And tell me what you get. And that is a great way of stilling your mind. And then you go, no. And then you start thinking of all the positive things. Because it says self-fulfilling. Yeah, self if you are thinking negative thoughts, the law of attraction is hearing those negative thoughts. So it's going to fulfill those negative prophecies. So immediately catch yourself going off on a tangent. Oh, gone. Try that. Yeah. Immediately try that. And then go, hey, do you know what? I don't give a fuck what the neighbours think. You know what? I don't care if it upsets grandma. That's because she's jealous. She says she wants the best for me. This is what I want to do. So this is what you're going to do is change your mind. So you're no longer having that. I know. Isn't that a great trip? It's a really, really good trick because you're diving into the negativity. So it's bringing you all the negativity. And at the end of the day, so, so what? Why are you putting yourself to a discernment and giving yourself extra pain trying to please other people trying to be the best person to everyone because no matter what you try you will never be a hundred percent in other people's eyes you will never think you're good enough and they will never you know oh you're not good enough you're not you go you know what bullshit to you if i want to give up my life and go and live in a camper van and travel around the uk doing mind body spirit shows in the summer and in the winter go travel in the in the in Italy and in the hot countries in the winter, I'm going to do that. And so what if people go, oh, you need a proper job? No, you don't. I don't need a proper job. I earn a really good living doing my card readings. And what says it's a job is a job. Who says a tarot reading is not a proper job? It's my proper job. Just because in your line of being is a proper job is not a lap dancer. A proper job is not a tarot reader. A proper job is, you know, whatever you think is. It may not be a nurse or a doctor or a lawyer, but it still is a job, is a job. And get out of that mindset. What is a proper job or not? Sticking yourself to a nine, five, nine to five job, doing something you hate with people backstabbing you. If you're in a job you don't like, go and look for a new job. If you're in a relationship and the relationship doesn't appreciate you, fuck them. Goodbye. And don't start going, oh, if I leave them, what will happen to me? No, that's just an excuse. You go, fuck you. My mind is clear. I'm starting new. And it's your problem, not mine. Sounds good to me. I know. So we've then got another beautiful soul. So if you want to help in doing that and going, fuck you, excuse my French, Elena, book your Pathfinder reading. Apana. Hello, Apana. Apana. Hello, Apana. How are you doing? Yes, of course you can have a card. So let's do Apana, Apana, Apana. And some of these cards I'm doing like for Helena, does it make sense to you as well? Write it down in your journal, that card. 
eight, nine of air for Helena, write it down. Nine of swords, write it down now, immediately, write it down, or get your phone out and type it into your phone. Nine of swords. So then you've got a memory of it. Apana, Apana, Apana has king of water. King of water. So Apana has the king of water. Now water, you're very welcome. Water is all about your emotions, Apana, and the king is being yourself, the actioner. But are you actioning, are you allowing your emotions to control a situation? Look, the king is all shut off. And he's standing there going, oh, and it's the jealousy and the pain of everyone. You can see everyone else is having a freedom life because they're thinking joy, peace and happiness. But you're thinking, oh dear, you're going to be dangerous in there and I think it is and that. Stop being the king of your water, of your cups. When you go into a situation, if you've got a situation upon her, and it's just a situation. If you go in feeling happy, you will perceive that situation from a place of happiness. If you go into that situation from a place of fear, you will perceive it from a place of fear. If you go into that situation full of peace and confidence, you will feel peaceful and confident. If you go into that situation feeling jealous or unconfident or not possible, that is the outcome. You're allowing your emotions to dictate because the king is an actioner the king is masculine it is the actioner you're allowing the actions of your emotions to control your life you need to take that breath think what is my next thought and remove the emotions and go in blank and you'll be fine Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. Stop being jealous and envious of other people going, oh, it's all right for them. Oh, look at them. If you want all these beautiful things in your life, stop bringing down people who already have it. The reason being, if you're going, oh, look at that person, in that big house. Who do they think they are living in that big house? And then you're wanting a big house. But then subconsciously you're going, people in a big house, who the hell do they are? Well, do you want to be, who the hell do they are? If you're living in a big house, take away the emotion. You are worthy of an abundance. Stop and letting your emotions, your fear of what other people may say. So what? Stop allowing your emotions to cloud your life. Clear the wipe and window. So who else have we got? Uh, Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca, how are you doing? So, did you write that down? Did you write that King of Water, King of Cups? King of Water, King of Cups. Write that down now. Write that down so you don't forget. So we've got the beautiful Rebecca, beautiful Rebecca, beautiful Rebecca. And if this reading makes sense and you think, you know what? I want some guidance and support. Book your reading now. You see where I am? Yes, I do have a sailor's mouth on me, but that's me and I ain't gonna change. But I tell you how it is. I don't cover it up with rose-covered tinted glasses. I tell you the truth. If you're not ready to hear the truth and ready to have that kick up the arse with soft, fluffy feathers, don't come and have a reading with me. But if you're ready to take action on the guidance that we're giving you, then book that reading now. Why do you want a reading today? Tell me why you want this reading. Why are you going to do the guidance? Rebecca, Rebecca, Rebecca has oh rebecca i love the fire cards i love the fire cards best way to be i know well you see who i am truthful i can't someone says to me i can't lie i mean yes i've told a few little white lies you know the one about the easter bunny and the tooth fairy and father christmas you know those little white lies. because what it is it brings joy that's a little white lie that's bringing joy to people you know when your best friend thinks they look really good in a in a dress and you think and they look really good and you're thinking shite what have they done you go yeah that looks really good um but when they turn up and you go you're not wearing that are you but you know your best friend you have to tell them yeah they look good because you've got to raise people up be nice there is a reason for a little white light so i do occasionally do that rebecca but most of the time when you when i do my readings oh yes right Rebecca, eight of, oh, we're getting lots of eights today. Eight is, do you know why? Eight is infinity on its side. And eight is two circles. And you're going round and round and round and round, going over the same thing, like that sleepless night 
going round and round and round and round with the sleep in the sight, you're going round in a circle. And it's like, is this ever going to break the cycle? Well, eight of fire. Fire is all about your your staves. Eight of wands. Eight of wands. Magicness. It's the passion. It's your passion. Yes. And it says effort, efforts moving, events are moving at fast pace. Delays are over. Many things are happening at once. Yeah, you suddenly realise that you know what I've been holding myself back. Hey, Rebecca. And it's like the unsureness of where to go ahead. But suddenly it's like, you know what? I'm working with Julie Sean and she's shown me the way. And now I'm so excited that I can do this. I can do this because I've released that limiting life. You know, there's limiting thoughts. I've got my self-belief. I've got my confidence. I've realized that I've been letting other people hold me back. But you know what? When I step out of the shithole that the government and the society and the communities around us have kept us in the dog shit, I'm stepping out of it and it's suddenly really Realize what a false illusion and in fact I can do what I like if I want to go and live in a camper van um, and, and travel I'm going to do it and so what if other people go oh it's not my problem how is my life in a camper van going to affect your life Rebecca how is it going to affect Sally's life how is it going to affect Helena's life as long as I've got the internet and I can still do my daily lives and I can do my readings as long as I've got the internet it's not going to affect your life if I'm living in a camper van in fact, it's probably going to affect your life. Go, wow, I wish I could have the freedom of the road. You too can have the freedom of the road. And then once you've got this, it's like, my God, where can I go? Oh, I've frozen. Not just in the UK. I can go to France, to Germany, to Italy, you know. And then maybe I'll shove it, shove it all in and go and travel in a motorhome around America. Buy a motor, rent a motorhome and travel around America. I don't know. Suddenly thinking big. And it's so exciting. Get the passion. Delays are over, yes. Yeah. So whatever you're looking for, but the delays are because you're realising other things. Letting things go. Burn things away with the fire, with your passion, and let it go. Does that make sense, Rebecca? Let, let the transformation of fire be the phoenix. And when you become the phoenix and rise up above everyone, you're suddenly well. And remember, the world is your oyster. The universe has your back, and everything you need is there. Just And then you get so excited, and it's like, oh my God! And that's what the eight of, fire, um, eight of Fire is all about. Let me know if that makes sense. Write that down, Rebecca. Write that down. Write that down now. Eight of Fire, Eight of Wands. Write it down. Get your phone out. Type it in. Eight of Wands, Eight of Fire. And it's like, yes. And then you can keep looking back at it. Right, we've got the lovely Sally, 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 I think. Is there anyone else apart from Sally here? Let me know if there's anyone else. Now, anyone who's late arriving, the first um, four, 30 minutes, I was talking about the major archaea and the last part of the fool's journey. So if you want to look back and see what I was talking about, the major archaea, look back at the last 30, 35 minutes or the first 35 minutes of this live to find out all about the last um, eight cards of the major archaea. So Sally, 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 Sally has three of earth, the three of earth. This is the three of coins, the three of pentacles. Write this down, Sally. The three of earth, the three of coins, the three of pentacles. OK, three. What you put out comes back three times. OK, the power of creativity. You need to be creative. You need to look at things differently. You come together with one person with another person and you get together and you get this amazing new idea the power of creativity wrong way round sorry um recognition for very high quality work but you've got to be a team player make sure that every person working with you is a team player if they've got other alternative reasons alternative things around you get rid of them they're not being part of the team you need to be a part of a team that was all cooperating with each other, that you're all coming together, working for the same purpose, the same correct outcome. If someone is coming together you to you for a completely different, i.e. they're using you, they're the wrong reason for you there. If they're making you false promises and listen to your intuition, but they're coming together, the three of us, you need to be creative about the way you're looking at things. Being creative is being doing things differently doing it oh you know i've got a inside of a toy toilet roll what can i do instead of just putting in the bin maybe i can be creative and turn it into a christmas decoration i don't know be creative with your life do something different 
Do something unique. Be creative and then you'll get a completely different outcome. The life is there. You've got this butterfly. You have blossomed, haven't you? Is it a butterfly or a moth? I don't know. Maybe it's a moth. Moth. And you're going for it. You, it's actually taking off. He just one opens his wings and off he goes. You need to be creative. Look, you've got the world in front of you. They've got a long, I mean, you think it's a long journey, but once you start it, it's going to be great. But you've got to think outside the box. Does that make sense? Right. Remember to write that down. The three of us, three of coins, three of pentacles. Is there anybody else here who would like a card? Now, you're more than welcome, Rebecca. Thank you for joining tonight. And I hope what I've spoken about makes sense. So like I said, oh, I need to shift me arse. See, I'm shifting my ass into gear. <laughs> You're welcome. If you want to take this uh, reading into a next level, please feel free. Because there, there must be a reason why you've all come on to ask for a card. The reason you've come for to come and ask for a card is that you're looking for guidance and support. You wouldn't ask for a card for any other reason. You wouldn't ask for a reading um, in order to... A reading won't in order you to clean your toilet. A reading won't in order to, you know, cheat, you know, whatever it is. You've come for some guidance and support. Hello. Oh, hello. You just go. You have a reading because there, there is a deeper level. Why is it that you want this reading? And when you have that reading, what are you going to do with it? And like I said, it's so important to write it down. So everyone I've written told today is get it down. Even if you haven't got a pen and paper, will you write it in your notebook on your phone? On your phone, we've all got notebooks. You can make a note of it. Quickly type it, make yourself an alarm and write it down. That's your alarm. Whatever. But write it in your journal, whether you have an ordinary everyday journal where you write things down like today I saw a magpie, today I saw a blue feather, today I, I um, had a card, today I used a green um, candle um, and your card. Or you can have a specific journal like this, Oracle card journal, tarot card journal. They're available from Amazon. If you go to Amazon and then type in books and then type in Julie Sean, it's two separate words, you will see all my amazing journals there. And there's a lot of different journals there that you can tab into and let me go. Right, Emma, you're going to be the last one as you just popped on. So let's do Emma, 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 Eccles, Emma, Eccles. Because the other day we had two Emmas, didn't realise. So Emma, hang on, um, let me do this. Let's put this in. So Emma, 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 Emma. Oh, there's a lot of noise going on in the flat downstairs. Maybe they're dancing. Emma has the two of air. Two of air. This is the third air card we've had today. Or two of air. It's third air card. We've had the eighth of air, nine of air. Now we're having the two. Air is all of... Oh, it's upside down. That's no good, Emma. <laughs> I had to turn it round. I have to pay attention to this, Emma, because it was upside down. In order to read it, I have to turn it round. So you have to pay attention to the two of air. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision. A stalemate, pretending there is no problem. Look, there's a stalemate. They're crossing their horns. What is it, this thought? You're thinking positive, but you've also got a negative. It's like having one foot on the brake and one foot on the accelerator. Okay? What is it that you're saying out loud, but inside you've got a different um, belief system? Okay, I just said this earlier. You know, if you're constantly slagging off people with all this money, you know, look at them with all that money flaunting it around. And then you're wanting a load of money and you wonder why you're not getting it because subconsciously you think anyone who's got money will be flaunting it in other people's faces do you want to do that no i'm not that sort of person therefore that's why you're not getting the money so do you understand why it's like having one foot on the brake and one foot on the thing and it's like you know what i'm going to make this decision stop thinking start doing all right you've overthought it you know what Sometimes the thought is worse than the actual action. This is me talking to myself because I went out for the first time in a month walking on my own today. Blah, blah, blah. It's a long story um, because I, I, I do have occasions where I suffer from claustrophobia and I can't go out. Um, and it was like, no, I've got to do it. And I forced myself. And when I got out there, it was great. Discovered my hiking boots leak. <laughs> Discovered them because I was walking out in the grounds of Delapree Abbey and walked around the pond. And I came and I thought, my feet are getting wet. And I got, oh, my socks are all wet. Yeah, my hiking boots now leak. Guess what I'm doing this weekend? I'm going to go and buy myself a new pair of hiking boots. 
Um, okay, so two beds. So you're going and you're just, and, and you know what? Just do it. And it doesn't matter whether you decide why A or B. It really doesn't matter because whatever you choose is the right version because you've got you can go and have an amazing life down A and you can have another amazing life down B because you're going to go, you know what? It doesn't matter. Whichever decision I make, at least I've made a decision. Stop being um, crossing swords with anyone and it's just a stalemate with someone. You know what? Sometimes you have to agree to disagree. Maybe, Emma, there is someone you need to agree to and you just go, you know what? With some people, it's, you can go blue in the face trying to convince someone. You just go, you know what? This is a waste of time. I'm not going. And why do you have to convince someone of what you want to do? If they're not interested in you, you know what? I don't care. I'm not going here to. I'm not here to convince people to have a reading. I'm not here to convince people that there's dragons and unicorns and there's fairies and angels. I'm not here to tell people the truth about the earth and how you're being controlled by them who needs to be, you know, controlled. Yeah, it's down to you to do your own research. I've done my research, and I'm open to more research and more information. And it's no good, you know, if you're hitting your head with against a brick wall with someone, stop it. Don't waste your time. It's not worth it because you can keep going on and on. And that person is not ready to see the light. So it's like, OK, when you're ready, come back. When you're not ready, that person is not meant to be in my life or that situation. Just do it. Doing it is worse than the thought. And I'm telling myself that. So two of airs make that decision write that down in your book today emma have you got your book have you got your phone write down two of air two of swords and now write it down two of air two of swords write it down in your journal if you like i said if you haven't got your pen and paper with you you know get your phone out and type it into your notebook on your phone we've all got a notebook i think on our phone write it down two of air two of swords and then you go off now you cook tea you do all the things and later tonight you can get that out and go what was that card that's it and you can think about it. Hope that makes sense. If anyone wants a reading, you know where I am. My ordinary readings are fifty pounds, um, which is just an ordinary reading. Otherwise, if you want to take it to the next level and actually do something with the guidance, you want to actually do something and implement it into your life. That's where you need the Pathfinder reading. If you just want to have a reading and not going to go anything with it, just go and have a reading. But if you're ready, because quite clearly you are, otherwise you wouldn't be asking for a guidance, book your pathfinder. And I hope you all have a great evening. Tomorrow is Freedom Friday. I'm quite decided what we're doing tomorrow. I know what card it is. I know what card for the day is to tomorrow, but I've got no idea what we're going to talk about tomorrow. Well, let me know if anyone wants to be talking. Last week we talked about pendulums. There is a PDF available for the pendulums last week. So if anyone wants that, let me know and I'll send you the link to the PDF. Right, wishing you all an absolutely amazing evening, Tarot Thursday. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope the knowledge and information I've shared has resonated with you. Um, if you want to book a reading, you know where I am. Um, have a great evening and I will catch you all hopefully tomorrow. Take care. Namaste. Bye, 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 bye.